today we're gonna be playing some Bushi Blade 2 and hopefully this will work. I'm play some other PlayStation games and maybe some original Xbox games or perhaps a video, separate video. Um, we'll see how the night goes. Hopefully, click on this video because you know about Bushido Boy 2 or you're one of my friends being forced to watch this. Bushido Boy 2 is a fighting game. It's by Square, released in 1998. And hold on just a second. Turn the sound off on my computer. Luckily, after one time you start oh, you started the game, you don't have to watch the intro any, anymore. Oh, you can actually skip it. But you do have to watch it one time. I feel very proud of that intro. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do story mode right now. But let's give it a shot. Stories about two rival schools battling. Um, it's about all I remember. I'm sure this will explain. Off the sea of Sydney. I didn't get a chance to read that one. And I probably would have butchered it anyway. Let me go ahead and pick my favorite main, Tatsumi, and go with the good old standard katana. <laughs> Love Tatsumi because he gets a secondary katana. He also, his throwing weapon is his spare katana. And you can do well with them. Brutal. I throw my sword. This is kind of unfair at this point. I don't know who they think they're playing. No. I overextended myself on that one. I think I have to. I don't know if I have to fight them all, all over. Just him. Oh, it's just him. Oh. Caution. Swords. Caution. Now I have I can also pick up your weapons if I can manage to do that. Again, I'm still in the same rounds. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Oh, fuck. No, that's just embarrassing. You know what, sword? I'm gonna stop that. Running directly at enemies. 
Not best strategy. Shocking. There's no one that's going to watch this other than my friends. You might already know my name, but my name is Annie. This is my first video. Um, I had to do it on one of my favorite games. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it, show you the case while this cutscene goes. Well, you can see that. This is a sequel. I've not been able to find a copy of the first one. I am playing on the original system. I'm just using a third party wireless controller. Oh, and the battle started. I these men trying to keep a good one down. Hatsune won't stand for it. He is the ultimate white knight. Presumably this takes place in <laughs> Not to assume anybody's race or gender. Once in a blue moon. Hongo! I didn't know you were a Shinto. So we meet again. This time I'll win. fighting game and I don't think spears should be involved but there are also guns so fuck okay so I do get a chance to fight this guy Alternatively easy just because we're low and on very force, hard doesn't mean the Rukagami are weak. It's wonderful. There are enemies ahead. Let me help. Ah, Red Shadow. You? Or no, he's I not Red Shadow. From I always want to call him Red Shadow. By Red Shadow. But Red Shadow is a lady. I don't need this guy's help. name is Night Stalker. Please. I've come here to help you. So the way you unlock characters, uh, additional characters in this game is playing this story mode. And... Sorry, Cobain, uh, my dog wanted to help explain. Um, and you get a chance to play as them, and if you make it through the entire st uh, storyline without dying after, or you have to play as a section as the character, and if you don't die, then you get to um, unlock it if you beat the story. Is what I would say. This guy's great because he's fast as fuck. You can't catch me. Oh, with my favorite. Character play as for and his full summary. Awesome. Awesome cutting down the my favorite maps. Because cutting down the band trees is always a nice one. And no one has a chance against my stalker. Literally, <laughs> it's kind of bullshit, but I'm okay with it. 
the best kind of shit. No! No, I won't be unlocking the last part. Come and get me. Back to old Tatsumi. Let's go to the next stalkers. That was easy. <laughs> you should feel honored that you're about to be defeated by Joe. <laughs> no, not Joe. My nemesis. How I overcome you. <laughs> and that's it, that was actually Thank the boss. You. That was the Can end I of the game. Here? Unfortunately not. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. I mean, that's up to you. Guns are cowards. And you're still a coward. Oh, this guy's got it. Prepare yourself, young man. Katze will put you to sleep. What a weak one. What a coward. Goddamn Americans. I mean, I guess I have two swords. But... Oh, fuck. He just shot me. I guess that's fair. I'm gonna eat this Reese's. So in this game, you do have, each character does have a signature weapon, or they do have a different move class, move set with each different weapon, and each character has a different variety of weapons that they're able to use. So in this first person mode, shit is kind of like you're in the Matrix, but it is pretty awesome. Even if it is a bit dated, you don't know. Janky might be a better term, um, but it's functional and it's fun, so I can't hate it too much. I love this gun. I think I've played countless hours and all my arms injured. Always trying to use her ability to draw her sword out and get it killed. <laughs> Usually ends in death because there's a closing animation. Her signature weapon, funnily enough, is not even the katana, which has that particular move set attached to it. Um, I don't remember exactly which weapon is her main uh, signature weapon, but it doesn't have that ability. I find interesting. I think some other character does also have that ability to use. But, um, it's very interesting. Best game is best enjoyed versus two player by Alba. 
second player with me today, unfortunately. Um, there's a cool group battle mode, which is more like a traditional training tournament, and um, a link battle mode, so you can play the first person mode by hooking up two separate TVs and um, with the system link cable. But other than that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch to another game in just a moment. So I actually just put in uh, Cabela's African Safari uh, to a PlayStation 2 title. Uh, let's see what year it came out. 2006. It's a later generation game published by Activision and developed by Sandgrain Studios. Sandgrain Studios. Obviously using the Cabela's brand licensing. Um, I have a couple other Cabela games I might try out tonight or maybe save them for another day. Um, also picked up it's an uh, Alaskan Adventures title, which is came out right around the same time, also in 2006, and also 2006, and published by Activision and developed by Sandgrain Studios. So very similar, although a lot of differences between them. Um, the Alaskan title features fishing, and. This was the first title to introduce bird hunting, which was carried on in African Safari, so um, that leads me to believe that African Safari came out later on. I did play these games as a kid, um, and I remember buying them actually at the same time. Um, <laughs> my grandma didn't want to put up with me not being able to decide between them. It was very nice of her, and I had a great time with these. Um, my favorite is still Dangerous Hunts, which was the first one I had as a kid. And that one's just amazing because it's just about fighting, basically just fighting danger, the most dangerous animals, like mountain lions and um, bears and stuff like that, which is not something you normally would see, I guess, in a game. Just due to the arcadey nature of um, some of the modes, it literally has basically what I would consider like a skirmish mode in that one. And I don't know, it's always been fun and very funny to me. Oh. Oh my gosh, I wish, I wish they could have got David Attenborough to narrate this this one. Um, I don't think he would really want to do that, but that would be something. I don't know why I'm on my last piece of out a little bit earlier today after I picked it up make sure it worked and it's very interesting I'm gonna do an instant hunt for now I might do a longer form video later where I take through, go through the challenges and different trophy hunts and stuff in the safari. I completely forgot that this game was in third person. <laughs> Every other entry has been in first person that I've played, um, at least of this generation that I, that I know of. It's very interesting. I do miss the first person mode. Um, it's more suited to that for what the uh, series is going for. It, I don't know, I do like this uh, a lot. So 
I guess I'm going a little bit beast. Insta hunt just kind of puts you in a uh, random, <laughs> random hunt. And yeah, it looks like we're just uh, shooting fish in a barrel, or uh, as the locals put it, will the beast from a uh, jeep? I think this is a jeep. Um, sure if he knew you were watching a pro gamer by this point, but I can't say I put my time in. And look, you can see for yourself how the results have paid off. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! I don't know what I did differently in any other time I was aiming at these wolves. Hopefully the next one will be a little more exciting. Wow, I, that was the fastest 52 minutes of my life. Alright, that, that, that was a lot faster than I thought, so let's try, let's try out a safari hunt and um, see what that entails. Welcome to South Africa. Oh, yes. The birthplace of mankind. I am playing this through a HD cable uh, hypercan into my, um, my capture card and back into the TV. So the game is presented in HD. These FMVs, oh, that got glorious to the mid 2000s compression. They're a beautiful. Um, it's just amazing to see these games with this kind of clarity. It's almost nothing like playing them as a kid, like. I guess I always blame my eyesight or something. Welcome to South Africa. Being able to see the games like so, so sharp. It's awesome. Okay, so this is the list of animals I need to get in safari. And I just got a little hub going on. Talk to Porter. I think I can handle rhinos. I don't know if I can handle rhinos, but... Oh, I hear the hunting is good today. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go after a kudu. Kudu? I... I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry, kudus. Kudus out there who are watching. If I upset you, I, I do hate it when mis people mispronounce my name. Um, it's weird, because my name's Annie, but it's just, it just shouldn't be that hard to pronounce, but I don't know. People get it wrong all the time. It's like, and it bothers me because they, they mispronounce it and it sounds, their mispronunciation just sounds exactly like my dead name. And it's like, you're a ghost, you know? It's kind of confusing. Are these red butterflies or tracks? I don't know what this animal is we're going after, but I want to be their friend. I want to be their friend, but I'm actually here to put a bullet in them. So, 
kind of like my friends in their relationship with me. <laughs> like, they want to hang out. I don't want to hang out. But I'm kind of nervous, like a beer, and then. But I'm the actual one trying to put a bullet in them. If you're my friend, I apologize. I'm gonna spook it. hurt you. I kind of feel worse. Oh no, did I just shoot the wrong animal? Oh no. Better put it out of its misery. I'm sorry. I couldn't just... I lost a hundred points for being merciful. I already shot it. What am I supposed to do? Let it die? It's terrible. Pretty sure this red thing's a rhino. I'm gonna go poke it with a stick. Oh, it's a it's a hyena. My legally allowed to shoot it. It was attacking me. Like, that one was my fault, but why is it, it went west, but that's an old track, okay. I got 100 points back, so, I can't be doing that bad. Is this another wildebeest? I guess I should pay attention before I shoot animals. I, I was paying attention, but I don't, I just assumed, and you know what, they, they say about that. Making a... That's a wildebeest again. Just another wildebeest. Let's be honest. The white man is the real beast in this video game. <sighs> it's a good thing I'm... I don't... I don't want to have to feel like I'm a part of the toxic masculinity anymore. And that has been one good part of this whole experience. I don't know why. I'm gonna be honest, I I have no idea where this cutu is. I think the guy sent me out. I think he was just just kind of fucking with me. I don't think this animal exists. And I'm sorry, viewers. It went north. Okay. It's another old track, but... Old tracks lead to fresh tracks. I, I don't... I've never... I don't know anything about tracking, but I'm sure they say that in the business. I... I'm positive. I I really think I, I could put money on that. Is that it? That's another fucking wildebeest. If I... Is this a wildebeest? It's getting shot either way. I'm just kind of sick of this. I won't shoot it. I won't. That's how you know I'm selfless. Because 
audience because I, if I was playing this by myself, I would have just killed that wildebeest and ended this fucking hunt because I don't know where this kadoo is. That's like it's hunting. I think I was just like hunting the snark and I'm not allowed to shoot this hyena. I'm not even allowed to shoot this fucking hyena. It's gonna kill me, guy. But they're gonna take my hunting license away. Because I shot a wildebeest for no reason. There was a reason. I thought it I thought it was I thought it was a kadoo. You didn't give me a picture of a kadoo. Sorry, I just had to get that out of my system, I guess. Oh, I'm stuck. Nope. I hear a helicopter. I believe that the government is coming after me. So, if I get taken down, no, it was personal. It was just personal. Me and the government. We had a fun. Let's just call it that. So, I, I, I don't think this could do is gonna... I think, I think it's kind of ditching me on this date. I don't think it's gonna call me back. I think it was just a one-time thing. Left that track and... Left its track on me, you know. I wasn't. I was just tracking the dog. So I... I knew where it was. I was like, is that a cousin track? And I was like, no, it's not. But now I know. Now I know. The hunt will be over. Whoa, tell me where it is. Uh, oh no. I mean, mad. I can't find this fucking thing. Are you the Kadu? You're not a kadoo. Get out. Africa is my city. I'm sorry. Fresh, it's going northeast. Yes. There it is. It's majestic and beautiful. Yes. I shot it in the heart. Why is it not good? I did not die. How are you alive? Where are you going? I swear if this wild dog eats my kadoo. Get away. Get my kadoo. I can go max pain on headshot. I don't know why I took five shots, but I got a top trophy animal, and I did some more good tracking. So, oh, nice mission accomplished. That's what being a pro gamer is all about. It only took me three hours and thirty nine minutes. Do that. And I lost only 200 points. It's a new high score. It's probably a world record. I'm not going to look it up, but... I don't want the success to go to my head anyway. I believe I hear a kitty.
I'm sorry about that, guys. Gals and non-binary folk. There's a kitty outside my window. I'm not a kitten. It's just Mr. Whiskers. Um, outside my window. He just hangs out there sometimes. It's one of those neighborhood cats. Uh, try something out. Else out now. Go ahead and pop in the Alaskan one. Follow the trend. I might even throw dangerous hunts in there if I have enough time after this one. And, you know, should I be able to find it? I suppose. I don't drink Coke Zero because I think I'm fat, by the way. I drink it because it tastes the same as Coke. <laughs> and my mom buys it. And I drink all of them. So yeah, this is her more traditional Cabela's game, the first person. Um, how do you on? I don't know if you saw these clear controllers. Awesome. Super nostalgic. See, I was playing this one a little bit earlier today. Apparently I didn't save my profile. This menu was a little confusing. I'm not gonna lie. Because you think you hit continue and it would save, but you actually have to save the profile if you name it, and then continue, which is you know, very user friendly. Very user friendly. Uh, really don't know what this means. We'll do the adventure mode. I like how the, the man can be different ages. Women are only allowed to be 26 years old. I don't know about that, but I, I like it to be true. Um, I'm gonna cosplay on her. Ultraviolet. That's my, oh fuck, there we go. Let's start my Alaskan adventures, a carnival cruise. This is a Sailor Moon hoodie. Oh yes. I don't know, I think this one's out. Yes. Yes. Well, a few that succeed, the rewards are glorious. More FMVs. We tested against some of the best and the toughest hunting and fishing in the world. Get your gear ready and make sure you're locked and loaded. Because this is big, wild country all around. Big, wild Whether it's running, flying, or swimming, you'll need to take Oh, no! No! Why? Animals were harmed in the making of this game. I know I'm playing a hunting game. I 
didn't expect to see a bear get shot just now, so polygons are not live in. Oh, I like bears a lot. Yeah, I am sorry if you guys were invested in the story. Wow, this one kind of feels like a game. The aiming is, is a lot better. I don't know why. Uh, oh my gosh, and you can iron sights. This is very... This is surprising. They finally got the... They finally got the first person right, and then the next one after this was the African one, and they switched to the third person. I find that a little questionable. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. I understand. I don't know how much of a cohesive, like, Cohesive projects, the Cabela games were. Apparently, I need to shoot Bob. Oh, yes. everybody's favorite part of the game. Any game. You gotta shoot the bottles. It's Red Dead Revolver and shit. Now let's grab some real targets. Okay, some real targets. I'll go out and do some scouting for you. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, he did the scouting. Let's take a look see at your PDA. Sure. How do I do that? How do I look at my PDA? It's not my Jeep. Uh, I guess I'm going after a cool bit right now. Here to shoot a polar bear. Aim in over your target using your scope. You can zoom in and out if you need to. It's just chilling. I feel like this is very wrong. I know this is exactly what I signed up. Here we go. Oh, God. I'm sorry, buddy. This is free. There's a good reason for this. Same picture. my trophy yeah sure my trophy <laughs> oh my god this looks like a dog why did it make up so cute Dog. <sighs> I don't even get a good score. Why did you tell me his name when that he's a boy? He was 13. He was just a teenager. I don't know how old that is in bear years. 677 pounds. He has less than my dog. Okay, I killed him by shooting him in the leg. It's a high score. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, we might try that one another time. That that bear video is still fucking with me, honestly. That really caught me off guard. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Sorry. 
test drive. Test drive six really quick. And just pop my thing in. It's over. And let's see if it works. I was having a little trouble reading the disc earlier, but we'll see if it works. This is a great classic PlayStation 1 racing game. Let's see how that's lining up. Alright, check that my video is still running. Oof, it's not working. We'll play a little Kokodo Fishing Master. This is another 2006 game. Um, believe it was published by. Conspiracy Entertainment and developed by Neko Entertainment. If I'm not mistaken. It could be the other way around. And hit the wrong button there. Yes, yeah, so it was published by Conspiracy Entertainment and then developed by Neko Entertainment. It's funny, uh, if you want, you can look at this. Um, Hopefully we can get a good look there. You can actually read a list off in less than five minutes of everybody who worked on this game, development-wise. And that's pretty amazing to me, because you definitely couldn't do that with the latest Call of Duty or most modern games. Um, sure, there are tons of indie titles developed by small teams, and um, games like No Man's Sky. But I find that quite amazing. Um, it's a great game. It's a... Well, more than just a little fishing game, even though it is a very simple little fishing game. It reminds me a lot of the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker title, um, with the going around on the boat and everything like that. The fishing is really fun, it's got a little mini game to it. So it was a simple little kid's game, but uh, I think it has a lot of depth to it. And despite its little budget, I think it's a lot with it. Hold the music. Uh, another game I had as a kid. Um, it, I've been playing this, um, it's a little repetitive, uh, no really need to pick up from the story began, it just begins with a little cutscene, um, and it does, that doesn't quite explain what's going on, so you're this little scamp, and you have a fairy to, uh, who's your, like, assistant, um, and you're basically going around to try and stop the end of the world by like getting all these ancient fish to do something I honestly can't remember um, what it is. Very fun little game, very relaxing, very different. And I, I paid five dollars for the copy I have, so unless it just for some reason blows up, it should be a and we are literally fly fishing right now, and I'm terrible at this shit, um, you should pay attention sometimes, but, uh, attention costs a dime, and I don't have a penny. I caught a 30 pounder yesterday. You can believe me. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got a picture of it. So you have different baits. Um, they for, correspond to the different levels of depth to go with. One of these octopus like things. Probably just called an octopus. Oh no, he just broke my line. What an asshole. 
Don't cry. Don't cry, Kokodo. see the hermit turtle because I have a fish for him and maybe I think I my worries off to him. These two guys will get to see the hermit turtle. Pentagon Ignotus and Sorius. I know exactly where they are, what they are, how to catch them. Won't be explaining in this video, but like and subscribe, keep following, and I'll do a full walkthrough. This gets enough support, you know. Uh, yeah. Sure. I have no gems. He wants 100 gems for a rod. I don't know how to get gems. Game was literally told me nothing. might not believe me, but I, I swear it's told me nothing besides the f pieces I remember. There is a manual, I could read it, but I I don't know how to read. Hard. It takes a lot of time. Uh -huh. This guy can sell fish too. Maybe. why we shouldn't have a government. What if there are fish there? It's a no fishing zone. There are fish there. I can catch them. Why? It's a commercial area. If there's no capitalism, there wouldn't be in a commercial area. It would just be a communal area with all the fish. And that guy wouldn't even need. We would just give him fish. He wouldn't have to give us money to fish here. Oh, fuck. This is an anarchist um, an anarchist gaming channel, so be prepared for a revolution or a war for the communists too. I just I just disagree with all forms of government.
this back in this case real quick. I want to add on a classic and kind of round out the trilogy of Cabela games that I um, brought up in this video and have played. Um, this is Cabela's Dangerous Hunts. And it came out in 2003. So it's an earlier one, about three years earlier than the two we played before. That would be the best in the franchise, at least one of the best. Particularly not a fan of Dangerous Hunts 2. Um, I don't recall much of 2009 or if any of it at all. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure if I played that one. And I will say that the franchise has gone downhill and I think it's pretty dead right now. Um, I haven't followed it. This one is also published by Activision and developed by Sangrain Studios. So, same developer as the um, two we all have played uh, previously. Um, who knows if it's the same development team? Of course, we don't know. We can watch the credits and we won't. But uh, much props to all the people who put hard work into these games. I mean, the only thing I think we do need to appreciate about um, bad games is that you know people did put their hard work into it. Um, hopefully, uh, for some games like LGN games. Uh, OJN games, it's like, maybe, maybe they didn't put any hard work into that, um, but people work on this bigger game franchises, you know, they're, they're clocking into their 9 to 5 every day, putting blood, sweat, and tears into this, and Call of Duty games and stuff that might seem really boring to us, but then, eh, that's, I think something we do need to take into consideration, um, and it's not really the developers who get to make a lot of the major decisions on titles like that. So, uh, sending them death threats and stuff, it may be, um, you know, j just a little tad on the call before they're, uh... I mean, I guess I got death threats um, at Little Caesars when I worked there, just... Uh, but... Food is life. And... can't hold it against hungry people. I've said many things I regret when hungry. And we're not hungry. Just in general. Most things I say I regret. But, live and you learn. Just hopefully fucking learn. I'm not sure if we do. But it seems like I do sometimes. I rarely make the same mistake more than six or seven times. Thirteen. Eighteen. Times. Really depends on the mistake, to be honest. So yeah, I mean, that's, ooh. Okay, so I'm just gonna shoot this. I gotta change the air sensitivity on that. Oh my god. Man, it's inverted. very sporting as you can tell. Hunting is one of the uh, most fair sports that, that exists. I, I do very much believe that to be true. I think I learned around uh, playing this earlier that you might not think it, but a revolver actually works way better than a long rifle against a world beast. You know, just in case you need that knowledge in the future, um, 
they were fighting the wildebeest. Steals your one or something. Don't go for your 30 off 6. Go for your 454. Yeah. 54 bucks. I know a lot about gun. Um, might look like a big liberal, but. I own all of these Cabela games. I probably know more than your average redneck about this stuff. Um, if you ask me anything, I'll fucking know it. I know a lot more about fighting world of beasts than your average you know, person who voted Biden in 2020. Man, I'm the world of beast assassin. It does make me feel bad still. I kinda wish this was more of a I mean, it does have more of the dangerous animals in it, but for some reason they did choose to do it this way. I think this one has dogs, I mean wolves in it. They're kind of the same thing. Maybe it's pigs. Wild boar. Oh. Oh. I just messed up. For this one, I might do one more, um, depending on if it's like <laughs> not boring as hell. If we'll see how it is, I'll probably do. Oh fuck! Okay, so this is getting a little more. <laughs> uh, it's a kitty. Yeah, a little more exciting. Let's see what on level we unlock next. And it might be the last one for now. Um, hopefully, have more of these coming in the future. Enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy it. Like and subscribe. Um, I'm not going to thank you for watching. Um, but, I mean, if you made it this far, I guess I should thank you. Anyway, so thank you anyway. If you didn't like it, you know, that's fair enough. You're entitled to your opinion. And I did these in reverse order. I will do this last one just to cap out the video um, and kind of close it there. So this is the dog one. This is also an ASMR video. <laughs> Welcome. Squeak my shoes. Rub my hands together for you. That sounded a lot more sexual than I thought it did. I'm sorry if that awakened anything out of you. you um... If this doesn't work out, you know, it's up to my own fans. I don't know. Hit me up with some messages. Let me know. Whatever you're interested in. I want to make content. For my art, for our audience, I don't. That's, that's what I gotta do. This makeup's not cheap, you know. It's expensive to be beautiful. Oh, great. I just killed Brother Bear. I don't know where the portal is.
very soon. Not like I stepped on my donkey's foot. My tail. Oh, there's the bear I ran right fucking past. Wow. Revolvers are like literally, this revolver is the most powerful gun that exists. See what we unlocked. If this sounds cool, I'm gonna do one more. This sounds fun. Take out the charging animals at each portal and enter it. It doesn't tell me. I know it. I know, but what animals? Doesn't tell me. We'll save those for next time. This is a game I enjoy a lot, so I'm sure I'll want to play some more. And maybe we can check out the career or something. I've never really gone into that. Oh, I played this one as a kid. I mostly just played the action zone um, on this one. So, well, I can thank you all again for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And big thank you to my friends who uh, support everything I do. It means a lot to me. Um, so thank you. Have a great night, y'all.